pull up um, that video of uh, Joe Rogan's Sick Fish 2.0. Bro. What all did they redo to it? I remember yeah. that motherfucker, dog. It looks the same. It was the only... You know what I uh, what I say is... Look at this. This is it people, now. When we would drive in that, dude, it was the only time ever <sighs> girls would be staring at me in a car. <sighs> the only time. Bro. Everybody stared at this car. Every, everywhere we went... People were staring at this car. But now it's way better. Now it's got a, a Mercury racing engine that goes to 9,000 RPMs. It's insane horsepower. What engines it is it? A Mercury racing engine. It sounds like an exotic, dude. This car is insane. Roadster Shop did an amazing job. Of it. Yeah, baby. That's the T-Rex. This is why I would and never... you want to drive your Plaid. That's a T-Rex I, I love my right Plaid. There. I love my you? Plaid. How but dare This you? is something different. This is America. This is an eagle with a hard-on. Yes. This is an eagle with a hard-on throwing nuclear weapons at the rest of the world. <laughs> this is a real American car. 1970 Barracuda. So this is what they did. So what happened was I had it. It was a great car, real fun, but it was fucking up a lot. And I, I didn't have any money back then. And so I sold it. And then Reggie Bush bought it, the football player. And he had it for a couple of years. And then he sold it to my friend Yoel. And my friend Yoel, who runs Fusion Motorsports, he calls me up. He goes, hey, I got your Barracuda. And then I was starting to make some money back then. I was like, oh, shit. Let I me buy it. Back. So I bought it back, and then I never even got it. I shipped it directly to Roaster Shop. Turn up the volume so you can hear this shit. And they made this. So now it's the same look, but now it's got a fucking insane setup. It handles like a dream. It's got a 50-50 weight dis distribution because it's got a rear transaxle, six-speed. Let's fucking go! So, that bitch I don't day, know if bro. I have a favorite car. I don't know if I have a favorite car, but that might be that has it. To be up there. That might be Dog, it. That might be again, the one. Again, a couple what I'm months ago on the podcast, you were talking about the whole Bud Light thing was stupid. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You're not a fucking immigrant like me, okay? That video right there. That should be Bud Light. Just give me yes. a fucking heart on. America! That's America, Fuck yeah. Fuck that yeah. That Listen Bud to that. Give me some volume. Give me some volume. Fucking did the Mustangs. Listen to that voice. Mustangs. Look at this fucking challengers. That's what it is to be a fucking American cop yeah, doctor. That's my car. And now you want to give me a Prius? Listen to that. <laughs> Woo! It sounds. It sounds that. like an exotic. That's what's crazy about it. It's got insane. Look how he's got this. You see how he's got the speedometer blurred out? Oh, that car looks tight as fuck. Oh, it's tight as fuck. Tight. So look, look how look how the speedometer's blurred out. Bitch, you ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's amazing. Oh, it's uh, you forgot to blur it out. You fucked up. Listen to that car. It's amazing. God. So, oh. yeah. So it it's like it was my beautiful. it was my dream I got car. There for it a was second. the dream car, but then it was the dream was kind of a mess because it was a lot. It was a lot of maintenance. A lot it kept breaking down. We a lot get of hot rods, right? But then when you send it to these guys, these guys did it right. But the thing is, the difference between what they used to do in two thousand three versus what they do now, it's giant. Twenty years later, twenty one years later, the fucking technology with these old cars. Is off the charts, man. They have insane suspensions now, insane brake setups. They make them better than today's cars. They well, they don't. They're not better ah, because there's still anti-lock brakes. There's a lot of shit structurally that's not as good about those cars. But the bottom line is, you get to have that old school feel in a car that's actually controllable. 